Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Here we go. Look at that. I know we can do it. <laughs> and my voice, I've gone up now too, right? It's like we're on press mode. Hi, how are you? How are you? Welcome to Jet Con. <laughs> we're on Helium. Now there's Jake talking about Kingdom Hearts Town. <laughs> Here we have Geek Out Disney. And you can hang out with my friends too. Game. Sorry, I can be roaming around. <laughs> I did all day. Uh, oh my god. Interacting with the Pirate Hold on, I got it. You know I'm going to make a blooper reel out of this. Oh, are they now, still yeah. going? <laughs> yeah. Ah, amazing. <laughs> Here in Geek Out Disney, you can play as all your favorite Disney characters. Wowie! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh man, it's Saturday, right? Yep. Why are we yep. sober? Welcome to Gen Con 2019. I'm Ross with The Op, and I'm really glad to be a part of everything we're doing with Hack Tabletop here at the show. It's super fun. I'm glad we can talk to you guys about everything going on. Earlier, we kind of got over about how The Op is celebrating our 25 years as a company, which is fantastic. We've been in San Diego the whole time. We've come a long way from our La Jolla edition Monopoly, and now we're doing all these great games. Uh, here at the show, uh, like our top game we're doing is Die Hard. Narcotopia Heist board game. So that one is a one versus all game where you're playing is John McClane versus the Thieves. There's three acts in the game. The uh, the board folds open for each one. You may to check it out at, at the thing. We've got a lot of cool things going on with that. Each kind of you play through. And uh, it's very, very thematic, very like cinematic too as you're playing through. Uh, John's got to get some shoes. He's got to get a machine gun. He's got to stop the FBI guys. All while like Hans Gruber and the Thieves are trying to unlock the safe, but also stop John from pulling their plants. It's, it's available now in stores. They haven't heard the show as well. Super cool. Our next big gamer showing off is Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle Defense Against the Dark Arts. So for those that have played our Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle co-op game, you're very familiar with the art and the play style. But in this game, what we're doing is it's a head-to-head -head competitive game. We are playing as students from Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, or Slytherin. And in those, you are using your deck building skills to build a deck that has a uh, uh, characters, allies, items, and spells. And all those cards are used to build your deck up and you're trying to knock the other players off the dueling club board. Whoever wins three wins the game. The game's pretty quick. There's a lot of cool things we've added for that game. If you know the Harry Potter Hogwarts battle, um, we've also added in game uh, hexes. So you can get hexes that go into your deck. There are all kind of evil spells you can do and throw in there. You can also finally mill your deck and remove other uh, cards from your deck, so you can get cool spells. You can get that, but also faction ability cards. So you can get Gryffindor cards, Slytherin cards, Hufflepuff cards, and stuff like that to really make your faction deck feel like it's yours. It's $200, also available now in stores. Very cool, but it's kind of debuting here at the show. Which is super cool. Staying in that deck building theme, we just recently announced Toy Story Obstacles and Adventures, a cooperative deck building game. Super cool. So we are jumping right into the world of Toy Story with Disney Pixar. It is a cooperative game, one of the first kind of hobby games for Toy Story. And you play through the four animated full feature films and two of the animated shorts. So in the game you play as Woody, Jesse, Rex, Bo Peep, and Buzz. And you're working through to kind of battle obstacles and adventures they tackle along the way. So in game one, they fight against Sid. And he has the big one. And at the same time, like, like Andy's moving. So on the game, it's got a little bit of a change up for you, right? So for those that know Hogwarts Battle, you're familiar with the board, how the cards flip, and so on like that. It's a little different though. So in this one, instead of trying to defend your cooperative uh, locations from getting uh, corrupted, there's a little track up there. So I guess one like Andy's moving. So you've got to be able to pretty much make sure that you can finish the game before you are going along on your, uh, before the house can get delivered. It's very, very fun because you're going through and playing through each movie. It's pretty cool. There's also a lot of co-op abilities to it with it as well. So you have a lot of cards that kind of play to that synergies. So you've got the army men that are out there. And if you have one in my deck, I have one in your hand. I play it out. Other actions kind of chain off. You can draw more cards, get more abilities, things like that. It's very, very fun. And uh, it's made for kids, but at the same time, like it's definitely a hobby intense game. We've had a lot of fun trying to solve puzzles and do things like that. And then when we get to game four, it totally kicks your butt in a really good way. So that's pretty fun as well. Also, going back into another Disney game, we've got Munchkin Disney DuckTales. Woo! And so, in this game, you're playing as your classic Disney heroes from Huey, Dewey, Louie, Webby, and Scrooge Duck and Launchpad McQuack. In this one, you're going to be solving mysteries, rewriting history. I mean, wait, no, no, you're playing Munchkin. So, you're, uh, you're playing Munchkin in that game, and uh, you're going through trying to get to level 10. So, you'll be getting all kinds of cool items from DuckTales, heroes, characters, allies, and so on. And you're going to be the first one to make it to the top. Very, very fun. It'll be coming out later in October. 
in the fall. Same thing with Toy Story later in the fall as well. But wait, there's more. We're also going to have our Geek Out Disney, designed by Elisa Teague. So in this game, it's a Disney party game. What you're going to be doing in this one is there's going to be cards, and they're going to have different questions on them. Like, can you name two Disney dwarves? And you would say, yes, you can name two. I would go, I can name three. But then Aaron can go, I can name seven. And I'm like, well, I can name eight. And I'm like, cool. So they go, so that had to name eight. So you'd be like, sleepy, grumpy, dopey, doc, happy, gimli, oh, nope, gimli, ah, I'm out. Right? So then I would lose, I lose the point, and the first person with the five points wins. There's gonna be questions for characters, for films, for songs, all kinds of cool stuff. It's 750 questions for that really cool Disney kind of way. Geek Out is a blast, and uh, we'll be doing more with that. But then, what's this? Bum, 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 bum. It's our Harry Potter Death Eaters Rising game. So if you know our Thanos Rising game, it's a cooperative dice engine building game. We are uh, working to fight against a bad guy. And this one is going to be uh, Voldemort. It's down right there, our first movie for his fig. It's still a production sample, so we're still working on making sure everything looks fine, up to Harry Potter standards and so on. But in this game, you're going to be uh, acquiring different uh, allies and spells and items all to uh, be in the wizarding world to fight against Voldemort. Changes we have made to the rising engine. In this game, you can fight directly against Voldemort. So you can attack him outright. There's going to be current locations, so you can work to remove things off there. There are kind of like some little extra side quests as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. All your favorite wizarding world characters all under one art style. Very, very, very neat. They'll be coming out later in the fall. Along with that, we can move to our next table. Ready? Here we go. What's this? Oh my gosh. It's Talisman Kingdom Hearts. The coolest thing ever. Ah! So in this game, we've uh, partnered with Games Workshop for our two Talisman games. So we have Talisman Kingdom Hearts and also Talisman Batman Superhero Villains Edition. But in this one, you are working as the characters from Kingdom Hearts and you're going to be working to close the door to darkness. It's got 11 characters, all from the classic Kingdom Hearts video game. And it's the first game in the Kingdom Hearts world. So you're going to have Sora, King Disney, uh, Goofy, uh, Donald, all kinds of cool characters here. We even have Mulan in there as well. How cool is that? So we're doing all those great things. It's our first look at this game ever. It'll be coming out later in the fall. It's very, very cool. And uh, so in Talisman, uh, in our Batman edition, it's very PvP. So Mr. Freeze can fight against Poison Ivy, Joker against so on, things like that. But in this game, it's very much kind of got a, got a Kingdom Hearts thematic feel to it. So if you're in the same space, Instead of fighting each other like you would in normal Talisman, in this one you're going to work together to fight the Heartless. So we have one pop up, you'll fight it, you win, you might die, ah, who knows? But you'll do a battle mode and go from there. The board is also all custom illustrated art. It's all new capturing that wonderful Kingdom Hearts feel. It's very, very thematic with all your cool Agrabah, uh, you've got Olympus, you've got Wonderland, all very, very cool. And you're working from your corner spots to go around the board, all up, because you want to get to the door and close the door to evil. This will be out later in the fall. We're really excited for it. It'll be seventy dollars. Also, our Batman Talisman Edition is also available, uh, and that's available now in stores. But then we got over here one more. Say hi, Zoe. Hi. So here we have over here. So we have our game for Court of the Dead like, Mourners Call. Mm -hmm. I mean, so this is our Kickstarter Wait, edition. Uh, it should be right now to backers. It's very, very awesome. It's very, 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 very beautiful. It's a game we've partnered with with Sideshow uh, Collectibles uh, for their own IP game. called Court of the Dead. Okay. And in this world, heaven and hell have been battling it out, and they fight, and it fuels their war over a soul energy called Etheria. So they made death as kind of this broker to make sure they get energy back and forth, but death has grown tired of their endless war. So he has made different uh, agents for his underworld court called mourners, and, and in those, there's uh, they vie for power with factions for the factions of spirit, bone, and flesh. And so in this area control game, you are working to take your minions, send them around the board to gain more powers and abilities as you gain factions for the guilds and so on, and then you can gain Etheria and use all kinds of different agents to help make sure that you can fund and power your war, but at the same time, you've got to make sure you still give energy to heaven and hell they don't know what you're doing, all at the same time trying to get the most unity so that you can win the game. We'll have a retail version coming out later this year. There's a lot of that cool unity tokens. They look super awesome. There's that Etheria stuff too. And the nice milky green for your Twilight Dice. So also, if we turn around this way, look right behind you, we're gonna go to another game called Astro Trash. That's Pat, he designed Court of the Dead. Hey Pat. So along with that, we have Astro Trash right here. So it's one of our new party games. So in this game, you're working to get all the garbage off your planet and onto someone else's planet. 
So you're gonna roll these three dice. You're gonna get a dice that has how many, a dice that says which direction, and then a dice that says which garbage thing. So you're gonna roll super fast, you're gonna go, ah, two right. You're gonna go, keep going, you're gonna go, oh, three green, ah, under the sun. Oh, oh, you go, oh, none there. Oh, one fish, blue sun. What, oh, blue, there you go. All right, so you go as fast as you possibly can, trying to clear all the garbage off your planet, while at the same time you're getting garbage from your planet. It's going really, really crazy. Super fun game, it's already available in stalls right now. The pieces are very chunky. It's got a super cool feel to it. You've got a lot of fun playing this game. You kind of think, like, oh, it's a great kids game, but man, we've been at a lot of trade shows earlier this year. There's been so many just game store guys who are like, this is the best game ever. So it's been super fun to do that. This game is available in stores right now. We have a lot of other cool party games too with our blank slate, free food, if their devs running for that right now. No worries, it looks super cool. So yeah, that's kind of what we have going on here at Gen Con. Uh, we have a lot more games coming out as well later in the year. You can find us on the op.games for our website. You can tune into our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram on USAopoly or the op. Find us out there. We also stream twice a week on our Twitch channel on the op live. It's super fun. Find us out. Thank you so much. Thank you.